Uh, I guess the first you, question uh, that I want to ask, uh, this is IFC's first foray into microfinance in Nigeria. Why Nigeria? Why now? Okay, so actually it's not our first foray into microfinance in, in Nigeria. We have four investments uh, already, uh, Axion Microfinance, Advance, uh, AB Holdings, and also Microcred. However, it's our first time in which we're investing in a microfinance institution that has a national footprint. Uh, the others have been focused more on states. Uh, they've had state licenses. So this is more really a, a deepening of our microfinance engagement in Nigeria. Right. And, uh, who are you targeting and certainly what areas are you targeting? Uh, you, you said your plan is to build greater financial inclusion among rural low-income uh, uh, areas in Nigeria. Okay, so the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Bankers Committee have developed a financial inclusion strategy for Nigeria. And so this has given us an opportunity to scale up our microfinance interventions. Our interventions in the past have been more on the basis of uh, you know, global partnerships we've had. And I would say that they've been a little more incremental than large scale. But really with the new strategy led by the Central Bank of Nigeria, it's going to give us an, an opportunity to scale up. And so this is really the, the difference today and the reason we're, we're, we're taking more risk with uh, larger microfinance institutions. It's not only the rural poor, it's also the urban poor. You know, as we take a look at migration to big cities, we have to pay attention to the urban poor. Historically, microfinance institutions have been more NGOs, and so as we see more and more of them uh, convert into commer commercial and sustainable microfinance institutions, we will be able to scale up our engagement. Mm. Now, there's yeah. been a lot of criticism for the microfinance sector in Nigeria. In fact, they say it's tilted more towards the rich uh, than the poor. Uh, with these new in this new investment, uh, so new investing in a microfinance institution in Nigeria, how do you plan to change the landscape? Uh, to be honest, um, I think that's an unfair criticism of uh, the microfinance institutions. If you take a look at LAPA, for example, uh, they have about 740,000 clients who are primarily poor women and they, they organize them more in group uh, lending methodologies. And so this is one of the reasons we're excited about working with LAPO. Right, right. Well, like you said, it's unfair. But you know, uh, Yunus. I know. I'm sure you know Professor Yunus. He's one of uh, not personally. Of, I've heard of yes. him. Yes. Oh, yes. He's okay. a star in microfinance, and yes. he actually said, and I'm, I'm quoting him: "The framework for microfinance banking in Nigeria is faulty, and it cannot achieve its objectives." I, I'd like to know more and get a better picture of how you know uh, you're planning to look at solving this, and listen, what are your thoughts on on how to solve these issues in Nigeria's microfinance sector? So I do believe Professor Yunus's comments were, were prior to the new you know, financial inclusion strategy. So the new financial inclusion strategy begins to address a lot of those issues. Uh, you know, some of the key things in the past has been that uh, even at the microfinance level, people have been looking for collateral uh, to provide lending. Uh, groups like LAPO do not look for collateral, but they look for really other ways to incentivize borrowers. Some of the incentives they use is the ability to actually lend more than before. So it gives really uh, some of the poorest the incentive to continue to pay because they would like to grow their business. So Professor Yunus's comments really predate uh, the new financial inclusion strategy. And I do believe that a new strategy, uh, which was launched about three weeks ago uh, in Abuja with Princess Maxima, addresses a lot of those concerns. All right. Well, going okay. back to IFC's strategy, what, what certainly is, what kind of deals and opportunities for investment, uh, other deals and opportunities for investments is IFC looking at besides the microfinance sector? Our strategy in Nigeria is focused on uh, infrastructure, especially power, because that's the single largest constraint to private sector development in Nigeria. It's also focused on agriculture because that contributes 40% uh, to GDP, but more importantly, it also co you know, contributes to 65% uh, 65 of the employment base in Nigeria. And thirdly, we focus also on SMEs because they are the primary uh, engines of growth in Nigeria. So these are the three areas in which we strategically focus, but however, we make investments across the board, including in health, education, uh, telecoms, um, and also oil and gas on the midstream and uh, downstream end.